Hi, this is Sean Williams, and I'm going to take you through what led up to what you're watching right now. It's Hodger Gracie submitting Marcus Bouchesha Almeida in the Clash of the Titans, the most anticipated jiu-jitsu match of the decade. We're going to look at how he just got that two-collar back choke. First of all, let's take a look at the things that went right for Hodger on the feet. First of all, Hodger shut down shots from the open with good fundamental wrestling positioning. Got his hands in the right place, his head in the right place. Secondly, when they were in distance, Hodger used effective gripping to negate, slow down, and defend Bouchesh's primary gi takedown, the sweep single. Now let's have a look at some of the wrestling position that uh, I'm talking about right here. That lead hand is defending the lead leg. That's very important. The back hand is the one that's reaching to establish distance and look at that level. Uh, matching Almeida's level uh, nearly the entire time unless they are out of distance. Again, here you see the lead hand defending the lead leg, the left arm reaching and the level uh, right where it should be, matching Almeida's level. Second, the grips. Hodger made very effective grips. In this case, he dominates the collar uh, with the left hand. And why is that significant in this side? Uh, primarily because one of Bouchesh's best attacks is a sweep single on his right. If you look at his foot right here, he'll step out, look at the hand that's going to happen, and wham, he tries the sweep single. But watch again as Hodger's stiff arm, that left hand, uh, helps him slow down Almeida's sweep single and you'll see that left leg circle back and easily defend. He could feel everything coming uh, with that collar grip. Again, here's another shot of the wrestling position. Number one, that lead hand defending the lead leg. Again, two and three, the level and the far hand reaching for distance. But now you can get a nice shot of the knee and chest relationship and see just how good from the side Hodger's stance really is. That knee and chest are in alignment, which is what you want. And in this clip, you see uh, Bouchesha faking and fainting, and he is just shut down by the positioning of Hodger. He's unable to create any openings and really I think just didn't want to risk taking a, a shot from open when Hodger's stance is, is in point like this. So great defensive capabilities, great wrestling prowess shown by Hodger Gracie from the open. Let's look at another gripping situation where Hodger's grips uh, once again shut down a takedown attempt by Bouchesha. What we're going to see now is uh, Bouchesha does get a really nice attack here off. You'll watch this right foot of his. He uses a Kasoto to try to get in on that knee. Uh, well, there he goes, but uh, no avail. And hold on, we're going to take a look at why. Again, the left hand. Look at the left hand and the collar. This is going to play a big role. Look at that pressure downward on the left hand, which really impacts Bouchesha's left leg creates some distance. You can still see Hodger's left hand right there on the collar, and that's going to make Bouchesha's left hand very shallow. He couldn't get the leg, and Hodger sweeps him right by. Now an interesting scenario here is the, you see Hodger's right hand here. Why? Why is that important? Because you see Bouchesha trying to grip release, and then boom, that right hand just grabs the cross collar. It keeps that lapel. And then when Hodger feels like the threat has subsided, he'll go back and look for traditional grips. So again, brilliant gripping by Hodger Gracie for most of the entire match. And now here's a nice uh, shot of, again, that left stiff arm. And this time, Bouchesche really gets in on that sleeve. And what you're going to see is Hodger's head position uh, take a, a good defensive role. Bouchesche tries to pull himself in. Hodger's head is defending his right side because that sleeve has been well gripped. And then he neutralizes uh, Bouchesche. It's a great single leg effort by Bouchesha. He almost got Hodger here. He covered nicely, but wait a minute. Let's look at why this went, how did it happen, why it went wrong. Watch to the left hand right there of Hodger is on the gi, but then Bouchesha throws it over the top. He gets free. He gets the shoulder in, but he is met by a stiff hip. Hodger hips in hard. And that means that he's able to create some daylight right there. You see that daylight. And then his hip comes down. And now the connection of that hip right there is not on Bouchesha's shoulder, which is where he wants it. Uh, but uh, 
However, Bouchesha recovers nice. He knee slides in, he gets a good knee slide, he gets in on this single, and he tries to cut Hodger back the opposite way. But as Bouchesha spins around, Hodger makes that grip, begins to sprawl the left leg. And now pay attention to this right hand as they come up into the standing position. Look at the hand that's on Bouchesha's head right here. Hodger's got a belt grip, he's yanking it up. He's got the head driving down and through the legs, and that creates a horrendous curve of Bouchesha's back. Really, the only thing Bouchesha's left to do is try to reshot, but he, he insists on trying to finish. Hodger continues to stuff his head. He gets an underhook here on, the, on his right side, and then Bouchesha recovers quite well. He switches it up uh, to a different style of single and just runs, 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 but he gets overextended as they go out of bounds. And I believe it was the early defense and the hip defense that left Hodger in good shape. Now just to compare really what the position that Bouchesha really wanted from this single is uh, we're going to see a clip of the best wrestler on the planet right now, Jordan Burroughs, getting a single and you can see how straight his back is. That gives you a good indication of how uh, contorted uh, Hodger had Bouchesha and out of position he had him. As you can see, as Jordan Burroughs has a straight back, he has that power to now cut back and finish uh, a very similar single leg. And another shot of uh, uh, the gripping situations. I have only a few more of these here as Hodger has a right-handed grip, but you can see he, he loses actually the elbow position and that right hand, he, he fails to make the grip and Bouchesha wins the head position. His head is now on the left and then he has a sweep single to his left. Now, that's met by a belt grip for Hodger so, and as they go out of bounds, so who knows what would have happened, um, be that in the center of the ring. But this time... Uh, similar scenario but on the left side Hodger gets the belt grip right here but now you notice he's got great head position prior to this Bouchesha won the head position was able to hit a sweep single this time he could do a sweep single to the right but Hodger's head is in the way and that is gonna make Bouchesha's life miserable to try to get a sweep single on that side so excellent head position as he had the belt grip and what that's going to do is, is set up a very, very strong uh, guard pulling situation where he's got the belt grip and the far sleeve. And there he goes. As he pulls guard, he's able to really pull Bouchesha in and then lock his feet in what is almost considered the Hodger Gracie position with that knee in the middle. Uh, this is a very strong position for Hodger. He's very comfortable in this scenario. But on their first contest, he locked this up, but Bouchesha did a very interesting counter. He, he went right back between the legs and rolled in through a knee bar. But this time, if you look, if you notice, Hodger dominates Bouchesha's left sleeve because Bouchesha wants to put his left sleeve between the lock of Hodger's guard. And you'll see in a second, he yanks out, but it doesn't happen. Hodger still has that sleeve and he's able to bust out to the top. Now look, he still has the sleeve. As Bouchesha rolls to the guard, uh, he's not quite able to recover because his left arm is not able to post on the floor. Hodger still has a grip of it and then does something quite genius. This is obviously set up by Hodger because he switches the grip. He's comfortable in this position, this reverse guard. He makes the grip switch and then that leaves him the ability to post. As Bouchesha tries to throw him over his left arm post, he still has the grip of the right arm which allows him to pull up and then he hip switches and now Bouchesha is in a very compromised position. The guard is open, Hodger has great head position, circles around, and then nearly falls off. But what keeps him on there is that sleeve grip, and wham, he's on the back. And now we'll see uh, Bouchesha make a very big mistake. He fights the hooks with the hands to worry about the points, but that lets Hodger's hand free. There's nothing defending his neck, and he's gonna feed that collar. now. Bouchesha moves to the sleeve with the left hand, but the right hand makes a critical error. It goes up to the head. It should go on this sleeve right here. Instead, he puts that hand up on the neck of Hodger, and that gives Hodger his second grip. 
uh, with his right hand, and now it's a two-collar back choke, all locked in. You do not want to give Hodger Gracie that much of a head start. And as he climbed the legs up, he's got both collars, he hips in, and he gets the two-collar back choke to take the match of the decade and finish Marcus Bouchesha all made up. Marcus Bouchesha in seven That's amazing! Minutes.